Okay. So last time after on Water Deep Bunny Heist, you all had made your way around the city in a couple of the wards and found your way using a nibble right detector to find a nimble right, and it led you to a noble house owned by to me, owned by the Growlhoons. A noble right. A noble right. Upon trying to enter the grounds, you had um, trouble just convincing um, the gate groundskeeper to let you in. Uh, however, he disappeared and never came back after after seemingly saying that he would let you in uh, or check to see if he can let you in. So before leaving you, it sounded like there was a crash of a window or something or something was going on on the inside and you all decided to investigate. Mousy climbed to the uh, top uh, second floor of this, mm-hmm. this manor and uh, did not... Uh, saw, saw two people, uh, a woman and a uh, man, uh, a male orc, I believe, or half-orc, um, standing in their bedroom, watching their their door, a door. It sounded like there was something on the other side. Mousy, however, wasn't sure about this, thought it was a closet, and completely got the layout of the house all wrong. But regrouping downstairs, you made your way in, found the place mostly deserted until you found several bodies of servants. Um, moving in, you dispatched some thugs that attacked you, as well as uh, made your way upstairs to find two two groups of people attacking each other. What looked to be a group of thugs and a group of guards. The guards were most likely the guards for the nobles. You made your way into, you helped make your way, to dispatch them and made your way into a, another room that was barricaded where a, um, a burned, half burned, uh, human in somewhat familiar clothing, confusedly because of me, um, seemingly was the one, one of the people trying to find, locate you, um, or at least knew who you were and was caught in the fireball you were investigating. Uh, stuck in between a uh, rock and a hard place, you decided to sort of stall things by jumping in there, Brutric and Mousy, jumping into the room he was in to try and negotiate or see what's going on. While um, Simon and uh, Sharptooth sort of made their way outside, luckily without being attacked at all. Um, Or they were attacked, but managed to convince themselves to get out of there. Or convince the guards to let them go. They made their way outside and are currently uh, downstairs. We're all up here, but Simon and Sharptooth are likely downstairs. At this point, you at the end, you two broke into the door that was in the ro- small room that Rat King and Brutric uh, decided to barricade. Upon entering, you see a couple of things in this room. A what well, looks to be someone in no, nobil, noble um, clothing cowered in the corner with a rapier just pointing out towards the door, which you have just burst through. In the other corner, you see three flying snakes in a cage. And a brief look across the room, if I may. I will reset the uh, scene. 15. A wood panel. This is a wood panel bedchamber with a birdcage on a table. And um, it's one of the first things you see is that there appears to be some markings on the floor in a ring. Everything else in here is uh, somewhat somewhat nice. Maybe it's a servant's quarters or maybe it's a guest room of some sort. It's not as as dressed up as the uh, as the uh, the main master bedroom with you were in. However, currently the guards are trying to get into the door that uh, was broken and barricaded. Uh, uh, and we'll say you re-barricaded it somehow. You maybe twisted the handle in such a way that it, it re-jammed the door with Patrick strength. With that, that's where we are now. Um, we are currently yes. not in initiative, but things are hectic. Yeah, so, so, so um, th- this guy told us that um, this family who is apparently organized, um, who, who I deduce is um, associated with the Zentarum. Um He said that they were the one that caused the explosion because the nimble right was 
in their employ or belong to them or whatever. Correct. Something to that and, degree, uh, um, because of how me messing up some stuff, some of that is possibly true, some of it is possibly false. But I'm going to play off the idea that you probably failed an insight check, and so you're not sure what's true and what's false. Okay. His name is Erstel Floxen, by the way. I believe you should be able to see his name. Yeah. I do. Okay. He, he quickly uh, moves over and rebarricades the door. Just to give us a little more time. He turns over to this one. Arand, get up! This person is, don't, 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 don't hurt me! No, don't, I don't, I, what do you, I, I can't help you! It's over there. Oh, Rat King, he's, he's the bad guy? I said, um, I think they're both kind of bad guys. Are we in a gray but... area? Yeah, we're in that we're in a gray area situation. This room is think, very gray on the walls. I will say that. Yeah. But um, I can't see the name of the, of the guy anymore. But I, I think this guy with the burnt face, um, I think he was trying to to warn us about them. All right. Let's uh do what he says. Well, not just, not just like, do whatever he says. Um, and I go, <clears throat> okay, gotta get, I gotta get my deep voice. Okay. And I run, and I come up to this, um, this guy here, and I go, "What do you know about the nibble right? It's Tell me. Right. Please, uh, uh, yeah, I, I'll tell you anything. Just get, get this one off me. Just let him. Up. He throws his rapier sort of to the ground, not far enough away that he can't reach it, but enough to so that he's just kind of cooperating. I kick it. Up, I kick it toward Brutrick. Uh, Brutrick picks okay. it up. So, all right, so um, you at least have that out of the way. Um, you do hear at this point. It sounds like the uh, veteran guards have gotten through the uh, the door. Uh, the other side of the door, um, and are now, you know, this is now barricaded as well, which is the barricade. Because the, the, the door was, the original door of Brutrick broke, so it's not very sturdy, and you were, you were holding it shut for the most part. Um, yeah. I, uh, I say to, um, Rustful, or, sorry, I still can't see Hirsch, this. this Rustful, I will, I will put his Hirsch. name in the chat here. Um, I kind of do hand motion of like calm, calm down so he he lets go of um of this dude he sort of sheaths his sword um but doesn't let go of him and sort of like picks him up by yeah. his collar i go no say it again what do you know about the nibble right <laughs> what was that uh I, don't you mean it, the room is bug barricaded? <laughs> <laughs> but um, bump. <laughs> hey, uh, proof trick bug barricade the the room. <laughs> but okay, I, right. um, I I have nothing to do with that. Well, okay, I have something to do with that. But um, my wife, she was the one who who sent it off. Oh. Huh. The guy who got burned is telling the truth. Insight check, just uh. Go ahead, insight. Eighteen. Eighteen. Uh, it does sound like he's telling the truth, at least about that statement. I, and I, I um, just her over to the the winged uh, the winged snakes. You go. Uh, uh, I say, interesting pets you got there. No, th those, those aren't mine. They're in your house. Let me just double check something in my notes here. Are there any windows in this room? This room does not have any windows. So we established there no. There apparently are no windows in any of these things. So when I when I said there was glass that shattered at some point. There was something that was audible destruction noise, um, or maybe it was the the glass door that we saw at the top. Let me let me check something because I need to figure something out. It's, like... it's a little unusual that there's no 
windows. You sure it's not yeah. just person made the person made the map accidentally? No, on, on the original map doesn't have any windows either. So okay, it could be it could be an oversight. Um, but we'll just say maybe it's no well, because <laughs> nobles don't want them looking in. <laughs> nobles yeah. people want people looking in. See their. Uh, I um, glance over to I'm um, to the uh, the rune circle and I go, "Is that your wife's too?" That's his, and he points to um, Herstal. Herstal just like slams him against the uh, the 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 um, wall that he's pinned against and says, "Where's the stone?" It's like I the what it was the she gave it to the nimble right. I don't have it. You do nothing good with 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 harming me. I, you can check my pockets; they're not there. He kind of hurts with this, like a once over the pockets. There is uh, do like a very like thorough job, but he can, he still seems enough that he he uh, is satisfied that he doesn't have the stone. I don't know oh, how we're gonna get out of here. There's there's no windows. I don't think I can break through a wall yet. <laughs> yet um i i am formulating a plan um looking up the name of the stone the the, the stone of G galor galor g-o-l-o-r-r -R. that will lead us to the uh the horde of dragons supposedly okay um the nimble right probably has yeah so uh so where's the nimble right It, Ursula kind of just like throws him against the uh, the side there. Um, I have no control over him. I mean, he's a loose cannon. <laughs> I can tell him to stop, but he's not going to listen. Make it make an intimidation check with advantage. Intimidation. Ooh, that twenty. Ooh. No, I think if you, if you get a nat one, I'm going to say as the Rat King, you accidentally say it in Mousy's <laughs> voice. <laughs> the nat 20, so you a... just... <laughs> this is like when in uh, Batman Begins, when everyone's under the, halluc the, the uh, hallucinogen drug, and his <laughs> eyes are glowing, and he looks like a demon. <laughs> mm. <laughs> um... We're in Neville Ride! It's a... She sent it off to I don't know where. You'll have to ask her. All I know is that we just, I found the nibble right a month ago or so, and uh, she, my wife did all, everything to deal with it. I have no control over that. I say, uh. Her, turns to, Ursula turns to you and is like, I'm gonna quick look around. You, um, you, you sound like you got this. He's gonna start, like, going, going through some stuff. I, I look at the the circle. Can, can I do a quick arcana check? Like, what's the situation outside the door? Do an arcana check. Uh, what the door is that, Brutric, if you are, it looks like you are just trying to barricade it shut, and then you are Quite able to it. really do that. Yeah, because you're, it's got the furniture. Damn, you've wasted your 20s. <laughs> yep. um, Brutric, with the furniture there and your strength, you're able to to kind of, like, keep it barricaded. Um, right. This is a teleportation circle. Kind of what I thought. And um, Herschel's. Uh, sorry, names. Um, <laughs> Erstel. Erstel said it was. Uh, it was his. He must have made it when he came in. The other guy said that it was Erstel's. Okay. See, to Erstel say, is that your teleportation ring? If it was, do you think I'd still be here? It's like, that's what or I thought. Kind of look at stuff. So where does it lead to the, the other guy? Oh, what was the, um, what was the name of the, of the people who live here? Growlhoons. Growlhoons. I say Growlhoon. Where does this lead? He kind of, um, continuing with your previous, uh, Actually, let me check something real quick. But continuing with your previous um, intimidation, he goes to the, uh, as far as I can tell, to the Zentarum. 
but we don't want to go there. That's where the nimble right might be there. I can assure you the nimble right did not go through the teleportation circle. Crystal turns around like I can definitely didn't get through me and he didn't leave this this uh, uh he wasn't in this side of the room when the he the nimble right yeah. was around. I say I think we've overstayed our welcome. Um what do you say we get out of here? Not to yes, like see, make sure that stone's around. They're still, still kind of looking around. Uh, with that, let's jump back to Simon Sharptooth to see if you two have anything. We're going to say that you two have uh, gone downstairs to where all the other dead bodies are. There is one unconscious, tied-up thug. Yeah. This. So you make your way downstairs, roughly at the start of all that happening. Um, and what would you like to do? Making our way downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Past all the bodies. If I, if I could walk down 1,000 stairs. <laughs> that guy's still knocked out? Yeah. But but he got back up again? <laughs> yeah, <that's tough. laughs> Simon, can you, can you believe that guy? How he thought that maybe that I tried to stab him? Maybe I sort of kind of nicked his armor with my knives or something. But that just ain't... He's... Oh. Can't stand people like that. Um, but, um, Sharptooth, you, uh, I, I watched you, um... I don't care. Anyways, what, should we, do you think there's, like, a back window to the room so we can just yell at them to, like, hop out and we can just go back to the tavern or something? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm, I, quite frankly, I'm, I'm still quite confused as to what's going on. I, uh, who that person was, um, and why they decided to uh, lock themselves in with him. Um, uh, I'm not sure. I have no I, idea what's going on. It made me just a little bit reckless. I don't know. Uh, we, we could try to contact them, but um, I... I uh, uh, but Brutrick had that stone. Yes, he did. Do you think we, we can like wake up the thug and talk to him about what's going on? Um, uh, I I'd prefer not to, uh, but if you want to, I'll be my guest. How good are the knots? Like, is there something I can roll to assess, like if it's worth it? Yes, you can do up? a. Um... Oh, I get to I get to pick a. Uh... One of my favorite things to do is. Um mixing up the skill and proficiencies. So you can do a intelligence sleight of hand check. So roll an intelligence check and then add your um, well, we'll see that. So make it, make it just a normal intelligence check. Nine. That, that was a save. Is your check any different? Uh, uh, no, they're the exact same. It's a negative. Okay. Uh, are you proficient with sleight of hand? Plus four. Okay, so you want... It's not going to be plus four, so your proficiency bonus at level four should still be two. So your total roll is a... Um, eleven? An eleven, yes. Okay. So with an eleven, you'll say, yeah, they're probably decent knots. They're not, you know, sailor or boy scout quality, but, you know ever tie your shoe and then you accidentally like flip it out the wrong way and it's like really hard to to to, to unknot it's kind of like that sloppy boat works good enough for me okay so sharp tooth is gonna go over and kind of like slap them awake okay so use an action to slap them awake uh, ah, have, stop it she does have a Ow. plus four to sleight of hand <laughs> well the the plus four is um for the dexterity bonus as well that's that's dexterity plus proficiency Oh. This is oh, intelligence see. plus proficiency. Yeah, the, the way that it is, it really every tool and skill check is that you take a base ability, and if you are proficient in that specific tool or ability, um, or tool or skill, you add your proficiency bonus. They just yeah. group the they just group initial ones, so you could just do um, what is likely going to be the thing. So athletics is almost always going to be strength, etc., etc., etc. But you can separate that out. Yeah. 
Yeah. That's how I that works. I didn't even realize there's a proficiency thing up there until I just saw that now. Yep, because usually it's just it's all everything's already added into what you need, especially if you're not you know doing this by hand. Everything D and D Beyond does all this stuff for you, but that's where the that's where the proficiency comes from. That goes up as you level. Anyway, you you slap him's like oh 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 so uh, oh what did I do? Um, there's a lot of dead bodies if you take a look around. Uh, what happened here? Yeah, yeah, that's uh, my handiwork and my compatriots. Um, why, why? Why would you go into a house and kill a whole bunch of seemingly lovely people? I just do what I'm told. I was told to come here, and then I was told to just protect somebody, and I'm protecting the people. Who, who is you protecting? That's a good question. Is, isn't it, though? <laughs> yes, I, I I agree. Do you know who? Okay, wait. Okay, what? Could you just tell me the name of the person you're protecting? Roll a uh, persuasion check with disadvantage. Didn't show up, but it's fifteen. Fifteen, even with the disadvantage. Yep. Ooh, really good. Um, yeah, it's yes. a good roll. Uh, well, I shouldn't be telling you this, but can you keep a secret? All of my life, have I been the secret keeper of many? Well, good, because I can too. And he just kind of like starts looking elsewhere. <laughs> I saw that coming. <laughs> Whenever I can pull that that out of that quote from Clue, I'm totally gonna pull it. It's like my second Clue quote that I've gotten today. Good movie. There should be ap ample amount of Clue quotes for everybody every day. Jeez. <laughs> and then so like I suppose like hit could I hit him again? Maybe, like, you want to knock him out, or you just want to intimidate him? It's intimidation. Okay, so roll roll intimidation. You got a bad cop, good cop thing going on here. What personality, bad cop, good cop? Well, it's like <laughs> a cop. Well, it's like more like a mercenary and just some guy standing behind him. Feels like a, a, a good cop, bad cop from Lego Movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you smack him. I would suppose like, ah! Stop it! No, I'm just... Jeez. It just keeps smacking him until he does something. It's not even a hard slap, I imagine. It's like, just a book slap. It's like, oh, I'm not even doing anything. Stop yeah. touching my face. Ah. Like, like, right on the nose where it, like, feels awful and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Look in the ears. I haven't washed my hands in days. Touching your face. I am disgusting. We all know this. <laughs> Person doesn't look to be that, like, clean himself. You know, not not sharp tooth dirty, but definitely not like you know. He's at least a citizen, clean. He's at least heard of a bath. Are you are at you least? To, <laughs> are you trying to like kill the people that live in here? Like, okay. No, you, we were trying to protect. Trying, I'm getting my sharp tooth voice out now. <laughs> we're trying to protect somebody. That lives in Who this I may or may not be saying their name. He Did or they... she or they shall not be named. Did they live here? No. I protect those guys. Why Do I look you... like I would protect these people? If you're paid the right amount of money. I'm. I mean, I mean, need a lot of money. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't think they'd hire someone like me anyway. Yeah. Right? I'm gonna get going. He uh he sort of stands up as I imagine that you have tied his arms, but not really his legs. Oh probably something like that. Or if you have it's it's not like attached in like a hog tie, so it's more like they're you can just stand up and hop around. Sharptooth wants to attack him at this point, so knock him back out. Alright, uh you can easily you uh, you know what? Go ahead, roll and attack it at, at advantage. 
Because if you get two nat ones, you're gonna miss. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you can easily knock him back out. All right, Simon, we weren't getting anywhere with that guy. Is there like anything in his pockets or something that I can rifle through to figure out? Uh, go ahead and make an investigation check. Nothing in his pockets, but you do find a uh, familiar snake, winged snake tattoo. Uh, on his, on his, uh, somewhere in his chest. I recall seeing those. Ain't these like bad people or something? Uh, that was scrolled in the in the warehouse, wasn't it? Uh, the uh, those uh, those brigands that uh, that tried to kidnap that uh, that poor boy. Yeah, I'm going to use this for an album cover. <laughs> this uh, show it looks like that. Is he, is, I, he, is he like playing basketball? Like, what is he, what is he catching there? Who knows? Maybe it's artistic <laughs> and uh, artistic. Probably expert. the sun. It's usually <laughs> the sun. Oh, yeah. It's, it's an even moon. He, he's <laughs> catching the golden snitch. <laughs> Simon, do you think. Nothing in the rules that can't say Wyverns can't play um, Quidditch. <laughs> I remember. Uh, receiver uh, ever. Uh, Justin, I, I am right about um, where we saw that before, right? Correct, you are. Okay. Yeah. You have seen it in other places as well. Um, make a make a history check to see if you can recall that. Nope. <laughs> We're so good at figuring well, things out. Well, I mean, if Bun remembered it, I don't see why Simon can't remember. Well, he, it. he remembered he well he remembered where he saw it on the. Um, warehouse but he didn't know he, he didn't initially recall the player didn't initially call where uh else he saw it and i'm just doing this to see if he can remember where right. else they saw it and they don't yeah. they're like yeah maybe this one's just better than the uh, the the other ones he saw you just can't you can't like where did i see that i don't remember other other than the warehouse i don't remember either i remember seeing the uh xanathar symbol Which you have seen as well, yeah. yeah. But with that, um, before we jump back up top, uh, what would you like to begin to do next, Simon and Sharptooth? Simon, I should we tell somebody about this? Because this seems important. But I also think they don't like me upstairs for reasons unknown. <laughs> uh, indeed. Um, uh, per perhaps we can try... Uh, let, let's focus on somehow helping... Uh, uh, the rest of our friends get uh, get out of here. Uh, some kind of distraction, perhaps. I can light the biggest fire. Going back upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Just leave leave out the scene on that one because like, like don't worry, I got this. Takes out like like some like a. Just like a, a, a jug of gasoline or something and starts no, um, pouring it everywhere. <laughs> well, actually, before he even mentioned that, I was looking at our inventory and I was looking very closely at the smoke powder. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> that's, I mean, it's, it's not a bad idea. We'll see what happens. Okay, one second. Can we just see what's over in this room over here? We never went in this room. Which one? Uh, the ones on the left. There, so there's three rooms you haven't been in. The, this one, or the two on the left, and then there's one just above Simon. So you want to go to that these, one? These rooms real quick, and then maybe so it's, maybe something in these rooms will help us. Okay. If not, we can light a fire. What's We win <laughs> both ways. Please say it's a room full of firewood. And, like, really brittle firewood. <laughs> Try as tinder in all the land. <laughs> and hay. There's a fire elemental stuck in here. <laughs> So this appears to be a hunting and trophy room. There are various uh, beasts' heads mounted on the walls, gleaming suits of armor standing at attention in the corners, more ornamental and um, uh, than like war and uh, than used for war. It's more of like a hunter's sort of uh, thing to make sure that the bear doesn't bite through their arm when they're trying to kill it. Um, Cleaning system of armor at the corners, uh, bearskin rugs, and overstuffed chairs filling the room. 
you also see that there is a falcon in a cage in the center of the room. Kind of looks at you. Goes back I, to you whatever falcons do. I was just gonna say, Simon, I found like the man room, and like I found this bird that maybe we can release up there to cause some havoc. But maybe it's well trained and it'll just like go to someone's arm. It could be funny. <laughs> Um, uh, uh, perhaps. What, 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 <laughs> what do you see over there? I'll try mine. Okay. Uh, make sure. This is a very a large double door. Um, well, not too large, but it is a it is a double door. You open it. You see, cutting out the area. A hallway going into a short hallway with the door on the left. It's like a small room to the left, but into the main main room uh, looks like there's a fireplace um, and several chairs and gaudy chairs, and you can't see around the corner. Yeah, really, you, you could probably see uh, like this. Uh. Uh, I will uh, very nervously uh, go inside, uh, peek around the corner to see if I see anybody. And you don't see anybody, but here you get a better, better thing in the room. So this looks to be a library. Tall bookshelves tap packed with tomes. Sliding wooden ladders mounted on rails allow easy access to higher shelves. In one corner stands an iron lectern with a closed and what appears to be locked, leather-bound tome resting on it. And that would be in the top left corner over here. Two padded chairs face large fireplace. One has a wolf skin draped over it. Well, so much for setting the place on fire. <laughs> Can't harm the books. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just in case, if we do go that route, I am going to go in uh, to claim the book and a cursory glance on the uh, on the shelves to see if there's anything of major value to collect. So the the uh, so make a make a quick investigation or perception check. I'd say this is more perception because you're glancing and not really not really trying to search for anything. You're just seeing if you, anything stands out. So perception check for the for that. Of course, the one I don't have a plus five in. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, you unfortunately do not see anything um, that stands out. Um, looking, looking at a quick glance, uh, nothing, nothing on the spines look like they're you know anything more than possibly just normal editions of books, maybe novels, maybe just family books, things like that. Nothing stands out. Going over to the the book here, this book uh, on the locked tome is uh, on the lectern. Uh, and it is uh, sort of locked to the lectern as well. It's not just that the book is unopenable, it's just it's also uh, like attached to the lectern. What word are you saying? Lectern? Lectern. So it's a podium. Okay. Right, get some class, Joey. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I joke. Don't we all have like things in our living rooms with our fireplaces? Well, Those are mantles. I think in the, uh, I think in the in the game I DM'd in the mansion that like there was a book on a lectern too. <laughs> I was like, what is that? Yeah, <laughs> but that could have been a pedestal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, occasionally, get, occasionally get words. I'm like, what the hell is this thing? And then occasionally I get other words where I'm like, why do I know what this is? <laughs> There I so should use it more often. So many names are the same thing, all based off what, what shape it is. Yeah. <laughs> um, Tree of origin. In any case, the tome appears to be attached to the lectern. Um, any indication as to what it is? Uh, this one, you can go ahead and make an investigation check. And while you're doing that, we'll just go down to Sharptooth. Sharptooth, did you want to look at the other room? Yeah, just kind of scooch over to like, oh, nothing in here. Just kind of slam the door. <laughs> Sharptooth might take the bird. Is the cage movable? Um, cage is probably movable. Yeah. 
because it's well, I maybe mean, that sharp tooth can grab it because of the sight, but yeah, it's it, you know what? It's like a it's like a standing cage, so it, it's not it's not just like a normal like bird cage. It's like a it's like a really really like regal sort of bird cage. Um, it's essentially decor and furniture as well. Yeah. Uh, with the so, let me describe this room and then we'll we'll go back up to Simon unless something else happens or at least answer what Simon's thing was. This room appears to be a parlor of some sort. Um, oh, I did miss this one. There is, uh, there are two corpses in this room, blood-soaked corpses, on top of a uh, on top of a very nice rug. Can I check what was that, Sharptooth? Can I check it for goods? Uh, you, you can. You will notice as you go in that the... Um, so there's a door up here as well. Uh, you do notice that these two appear to be the uh, the, the the house guards rather than the, the thugs. Uh, these corpses. Uh, make an investigation check. Natural 20. <laughs> All right, so with this, you find a lot of boring things for what Sharptooth would find boring. So there's, like, very nice paintings of the Growlhoon family, um, very nice furniture, dainty chairs, a couple of doilies. Um, but there is a wine cabinet, and I'm going to say that if you, on a quick thing, you can find some uh, very nice wine if you want to grab a bottle or two of that. I do. Okay, and uh, let me specific thing is for that, but let me, let me load up my thing. I keep closing by accident. Uh, you find a bottle of fine wine. You find two bottles of fine wine. It will say uh, these are each worth ten gold pieces, and they're normal adventuring or not adventuring gear, but they're items in the player's handbook. So you should be able to add two bottles of fine wine. Fine wine. Uh, from your on D and D Beyond. Okay, uh, with with that, I'll probably be like, oh, and then like run to Simon to be like, look what I found. So going towards Simon's area. I will say also with the natural twenty, um, you see footprints leaving this room and heading, um sort of towards the door that you came in before they just kind of like, looks like it wiped them off on some, uh, or, or on like a rug near the door. Not necessarily wiped them off, but possibly just, you know, it soaked up the rest of the uh, the fresh blood. Wow. You did, but you didn't see any, there are, no, there are no footprints heading into the room. It was heading out. So were they already in the room, or did they just not have blood on their feet when they came in? This is not a question for shop to <laughs> World's greatest investigator, Shoptooth Jr., when I have one of my various kids. Yeah. One of my <laughs> many, many kids, probably, but probably not. And you said you are heading back up to here. Um, as you do that, Simon, with your eights, because you, you you got an eight before, correct? Uh, yes. Um, it appears... You can't really, you can't open it enough to really see what it is. It looks like it might be a spell book. While it's, uh, why, why it's locked as a spell book, you don't know. All right. Well, Sharptooth comes in and sees him, uh, uh, oh, oh, actually, trying to tug at it. You still have the tech magic up, do you not? Um, it, it's only for 10 minutes, and I'm sure it's gone by, uh, by, by now. Uh, I don't know. Everything's been going pretty quick in here. I'm going to say you... you. I'm going to say it fades while you're in here. Okay. And you do you do detect uh, the very last bits of um, aura of abjuration, abjuration magic emanating from the tome itself. Interesting, so... Uh, so it's protected in some way. Uh, uh, oh, well, um, well, with that, with that, we will, you will, you can ruminate on that. We will jump back up to her trick and rat king. Okay. So I swear I had this idea before Sharptooth talked about the Falcon. 
Okay. Um, I'm gonna go over to this cage full of flying serpents, and uh, I say to Brutrick, "I think this is gonna make a nice distraction, so we can get out of here." And I point to the flying serpents. Okay, just let me know, and I'll I'll open the door. Not okay, here. So You're not here? No, uh, Ursula says, oh, it's not here, as he's going through drawers okay. and things. Okay. He's looking for something. Like, all right, come here. He picks up Arond, Um, I'm sorry, Growlhund. Uh, so I don't think there's any way we're going to get to the mistress of the house, to those guards, unless you want to make a run for a room and then we can barricade that room. I don't think that's going to be a good idea. I say we just make a run for it out of the house. Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting out of here too. Okay. Um, is this can I pick up this cage? Uh, I'll say that this one is something you can pick up. So you are holding the cage of flying snakes. So I want these snakes as agitated as possible. <laughs> you shake the cage. Make an intimidation or animal handling check. Is this an animal handling he wants to fail? <laughs> <laughs> the the intimidation is that he's trying to rattle them in such a way, it's probably very easy. The animal handling is to know how to really do that for something like this. Uh, with the nine, you you ultimately fall back on agitating them by shaking the cage. So, it wasn't it, it wasn't a hard check, so you are able to agitate them. It's probably not the best you could you could do, but they are just kind of like, okay. you know, like you, you get a bunch of pigeons somewhere and they, they don't know how to get out of a room and they're just like freaking out. Kind of like that. Is, it, is this cage like? Can I unlock it with like a pin or something? Yeah, it's like this one's like a bird cage. You can you can hold it shut and then open it and then just like turn it out. Okay, so I say to uh, everyone on the walk up to the door with this on the count of three, Brutrick, you sl- you slam open the door. I'll and I'll let these winged beasts out, and it's going to cause havoc. And in the distraction, we're gonna we're gonna make a run for the door. Um, with that, uh, Growlhund goes. Well, I, well, I, well, what about me? I can just stay here. It won't be a problem. Like, yeah, no one cares about you, dude. What about you? Yeah. Earth <laughs> says. Yeah, you, we I mean, you have to deal him. with your. Could you have to deal with your wife. Leverage. That's punishment enough. <laughs> We could use him for leverage to get out of here, but oh, that's uh, all back. Yeah, maybe we can use him as a hostage to get information. You're right. Good idea. I'll take him with us. Did yeah, okay. Did he just suggest we take him hostage? It sounds like he's trying to get out of a situation. It, is your relationship with your wife okay? But my wife? I'm sorry. Ursel said he can use the Growlhund as a um. Hostage. Oh, I thought I thought Growlhund was like no, because he brought up he's like, what about me? And like he was like, don't forget about me, bring me with you. Yes, so like I... trying to get out of the the mansion. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, rough. But... No, I, I apologize. I have one voice. That's when it's not my my Andy Shankerflash voice. I have one voice for everything. So yeah, no, um, that's that's my version of you. That's my version of you two being twins and sounding the same. So yeah. <laughs> Oh, wow, yeah, Mark. Same vocal cords. Yeah. <laughs> I can hear the difference. Uh, All Canadians sound the, the same. Other? All Canadians sound the same. Tell me so Ursul is going to take Galhoun, um, and we're just going to make a run for the door outside. Are you just going to run up. like down down the stairs and just the quickest way out? Yes, quickest please. way out. Okay. You uh, sort of you end up moving the drawer out of the way enough that you can. You know, Brutrick's still holding it close, holding it closed. Um, that's what you wish to do. One. Oh, uh, yeah. One, two, three. Open the door, and you throw the flying snakes out at them. Make a um. Make a. Intimidation check with advantage. Twenty-one. 
21. Yeah. The snakes go is like, aha! Ah! The snakes just kind of like all just sort of like freak out and fly like to the, as anything that can go. This guard kind of like jumps over here. This one kind of goes in the corner. This one kind of like dives out of the way as well. Um, yeah, it's like, have some snakes! <laughs> leaving some open. I will say that they will not, you will not provoke opportunity attacks from them because you rolled so high on that intimidation. Okay. Um, well, personally, I'm going to do disengage and run and dash past them. Yes. I, well, I'm, what I'm saying is that with at least these three guards, you do not need to disengage. But you can, oh, okay. yeah, you can disengage. Oh, you can dash as well because you're, a, no, you're a ranger. Never mind. I keep forgetting you're not a rogue. Um, yeah. But you can, yes. you don't have to disengage from those three. Right. I, uh, I run down the stairs. So you make your full dash, Richard which is probably like follow. the best to follow. This one, he, this one's a little slower, but because he's got to move twice, but he's able to get to at least the top of the stairs and then um, pivot around. So let me set this down down at the bottom of the stairs. So just before that happens, let's jump back to Simon. Uh, probably futilely trying to tug at uh, the book to try to get it free. Um. Well, uh. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It does. It doesn't. Nope. It's just. Uh, it's there. You can. Uh, you can. You can't really like pull it away from, from everything. It's chained down pretty well. With, um, no book. No book should be bound. At this point, <laughs> would Sharptooth come in and maybe see him struggling? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Simon, you never guess what I... Ooh, what the heck's that? Looks important. And then runs over. I, I, I'm not sure, but um, I, I'd like to get it free before we do whatever you plan to do. Uh, well, let me give me a hand. Just, yeah, to see if I can just pick some locks or something. I don't have a lock picking kit now that I think about it. Out loud. Out loud. Do you, do you not have a lock picking kit? Did we not like get you one? Yeah, yeah. I thought. I guess not. Maybe I just joked about it and didn't follow through. Okay. Never mind. We gotta go. Maybe. But at this point, when we hear like the, all the thudding like down the stairs. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. At that point, you hear Red King go crap, 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 crap. crap. <laughs> like, wait for me, Red King, 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 King. At that point, I'd be like, oh god, we gotta go, and then like grab him and go. Two okay, grab Simon. Ah. <laughs> grab Simon and go. Um, Ursula and Growlhund are uh, lagging behind as they are being chased. Are you just going out the front door? Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Brutrix going to look back, and if um, Growlhund is putting up, is making it too hard for Ursula, I would like to carry him. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say that it is, so you go ahead and grapple Orond and uh, take him with you. Uh... It's like, not going to let him go, right? Nope. Okay, Rat King, you run out. As I, as I as I see Sharptooth and Simon coming out of the door, I just go, hey, don't worry, they're on our side temporarily. We might have taken a hostage, okay, fall, fall us. What? <laughs> I don't know, it just kind of happened. <laughs> I'm gonna say uh, just because, just so oh, just so it's uh, uh, not too difficult. You are able to basically stay ahead of any of the guards that count you. Um, however, it is. I will say that it is. Uh, so it is still midday. There are still people on the street. <laughs> yeah. Well, or, as as yeah, you're shouting out there, Ursula says, "No, go. Let's get." Get look at go yeah, get get a horse go through the carriage. Oh, I assume. But no, actually, he wouldn't say to get the carriage because he'd know there's no carriages here. But he, he'd say it's like we can. 
and said, we could go through the back way. Through the, okay. through the barn, or the stables. Yeah, let's okay. go. So I think Rat King and uh, Brutrick know where that is because of our earlier investigation. Yes. Uh, yeah, you escorted the um, uh, the people that work here out of it. Mm. Grauhun's like, um, uh, I was like, oh, just, but you could just put me down, uh, Mr. Bugbear. I, I, I'll be fine here. I don't know anything. Sorry, sir. Work. I gotta keep you keep you here just in case we need your help later. I uh, doubt. So, uh, I'll have you know that that kidnapping a noble is is probably really bad. Is kidnapping somebody affiliated with gang activity also bad? I plead the fifth. <laughs> I thought uh, it was the third. <laughs> Uh, our battles. So I'm just trying to put on better music and my I know I I don't have my chase music up here because I think the one that I picked got from like uh, uh YouTube is gets flagged by by YouTube content, so I'm not gonna oh, use that one. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow. Not quite that. Let me turn down the music. Oop. There we go. You open this, you do see a couple of things. There is a room to, oh, you should, probably shouldn't see the, the room to the north, but you, you don't see the rooms to the north. But there are five horses in here. Four of them look like draft horses. One of them is in a nicer, um, nicer, uh, not barding, but sort of horse clothes, for lack of a better term. Runs in here. Like, I do say to Ursula, I says, um, Bruchard makes a good point. I don't want to be, I have a reputation here. I don't want to be affiliated with kidnapping. I, I guess we're, we just we're, needed him to get out of the there safely, huh? We could get the stone from Galore from him by using him as leverage. Here. I mean, it's just money. He goes, he goes up to him and just like smacks him in the face to knock him out. Ah. Don't worry, he'll just be asleep. Should have done that earlier. Um, here, put him on one of these horses. I'll take him. Yeah, a wrecking goes kind of out of character because okay, um, if anyone asks, uh, we did it. We did, did kidnapping for money. No, people will understand. <laughs> okay, I, you, you do see wrecking. I'm sorry. Go ahead, um, Bertrick. Rat King, your mousy disguise is coming back on. <laughs> no thing. Um, you do see that the the um, doors to the south were boarded, uh, barred. Excuse me. So you flip that bar up very easily enough. Um, does sound like people outside of the uh, are people are catching up for you. They're they're falling. They went this way. They went into the the went into the stables. Um. Ursul says, here, put put him on the back of this horse. And he, he takes out a horse and says, so, put him on the back here. Everybody grab a horse and we'll meet up. Where are we meeting? You got a good hideout somewhere? Technically. <laughs> like, besides our, besides the tavern? Oh, we could meet at the, that, uh, minimizing mansion. Like that was that was way outside the city, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Mousy, you have a background that lets you. No, you have the faceless background. Um, no, no I have a, the urchin. You have the urchin background. Uh, so there's a specific background background to let you find like good like underground criminal stuff. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna say. This so yeah, you have like, to figure something your figure this, this out is, on your own as a player. <laughs> this is more like I have a good read of the city. Yeah. Um, maybe I would know of an abandoned building. Yeah, you'd probably know of plenty around. Yeah. So you, we'll say that you, you find, you know, an abandoned warehouse somewhere. So go meet there. Bertrick, you put Growlhound on the back of the horse? Yes, I do. How about we, uh. 
like the little the little people team up with the bigger people on the horses. Simon's steering. Yeah. I'm gonna say one, one one more thing for Simon. I'm gonna say that your your um detect magic was still going on because nobody ever goes in this room. The horseshoes on this horse at the bottom, the nicer looking horse, are magical. His hooves are have a magic aura on them. Hey Simon, do you want to grab the fancy looking horse? Uh, what? It looks um, a little fancy. <laughs> can we just walk? If you want, be to be fast. You can walk if you want, and we can scatter. But this will be faster. I mean, Brutrick will, will take one of the horses. Here, I'll roll to see which one. Okay. We take the one at the bottom. Uh, not the, um, we take the, yeah, you, you, the, third, the third from the top. The third from the top. What's its Simon, name, Mark? Fancy one. Look, name? look at it, look at it. Um, Airbud. Airbud, cool. His name is Airbud. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Simon does not like this plan, but he's being uh, pushed to it by everybody, so is uh, so it gets, it gets the reins of it. But is as uh, acting like the uh, the horse is some uh, demonic creature he does not want to touch. Wait, what's your animal? animal? One. Mine's two, so maybe I should grab the reins. I am also under the assumption that he has never been on a horse. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? You're not even holding the dang things right. And then, like, hops in his lap. <laughs> he saw a centaur once. <laughs> Turned out it was a guy in a costume. It was a really good costume. <laughs> um, Ursul kicks open the door. Um, no, that's what I mean. He, he squeezes it out. He, he takes off on the seat, on the street, um, uh, on, on direction. A lot of people look around. It's like, oh, it's a little fast. Like, not that they realize something is amiss right away, but um, just seeing a single horse, like, gallop out of the out of thing is uh, probably probably a little uncommon. What do you guys uh, do? You follow him. No, we scatter. We gotta, we gotta go. Everybody oh, yeah. Uh, we're, we agreed to meet up in a civic place, right? Like an abandoned building, yes. I know of. Yes. Okay, yes. So, um, I say, yeah, I say, uh, scatter. Hopefully they know where we're going. Garputhiac yells yeehaw, and then, like, gets going. So, uh, this scatter. Yeah, I'm gonna, I was just about to turn it down. Apologies. Um. So do we have, like, a John Wick 3, like, escape sequence on horseback? Say no, because I'm gonna say that that went on a little fast. Uh, that went on pretty fast. Um, I'm gonna say that you're all being ch possibly chased, and you'll probably want to do something to pretend from being to prevent yourself from being chased. So, what would you like to do to kind of like avoid the um, avoid everything? Ursul will do his own thing. Uh, ooh. Okay, look at my spells. Simon, you got any so, ideas? Um, walls. <laughs> I think you moved us across them. Um, I will end up uh, casting... Uh, let me see what it... Um, okay, I don't need to do that. Um, I'm going to cast Frost Fingers at the cobblestone behind us to try to uh, create a slippery, pa uh, slippery uh, spot to uh, okay. slow down. Roll, roll the whatever attack you need to do for that. We'll use that as the skill check. Unfortunately, a very dry day in autumn. Uh, oddly enough, uh, does slow them down, but probably could have been a little better. Uh, Red King and Brutrick. She killed the horses. <laughs> they couldn't follow. Their legs. <laughs> yeah. um, I don't mean that. Um, I want to cast uh, Snare. 
Ooh. Um. Well, basically, it's uh, cast. Uh, I take like I, I'm um, uncoiling some rope. You know, yeah. saying the the magic words and um, create a, a circle with a five foot radius on the ground on the floor. It says I have to touch the floor, but I think uh, you'll yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll say that you're you're able to just do some some yeah. acrobatics to kind of like. So point, uh, the down trap is nearly visible, requiring special intelligent check against your spell save. So they can't see it unless they. Uh, yeah. So it consumes twenty five feet of rope. So go ahead and do that. I will say that. Um, go ahead and roll a make an Arcana check or whatever your your spell. I'm sorry. Make what make whatever your spell attack would be. We'll do that instead of the uh, deck save. You could like be um, lead it through an alleyway so that way it's not like middle of the street. Yeah. Nineteen. So you do that, you are able to trip trip up uh, some people that are following you. It looks like someone's picked up one of the horses and are following you. You do it back, and they um, the the trap does spring on one of the horses, and the person goes the the rider goes off flying into a cart of pillows unharmed, but no longer uh, following. I, I thought you were going to say manure. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, nice. You're not sure what Erstel does, but uh, what happens? Um, can I ask with the uh, Earth Tremor, would I be able to cast that to kind of like, I guess, screw up the Earth behind it to make it harder for the horses to chase after us? You can do that too. We'll say that that can, um, and that can do it. So go ahead and do a an attack roll, uh, attack roll for that. Do whatever your spell attack roll would be. It's the same thing. So does the guy like fall into the the thing of pillows and just immediately go ah, and then just fall asleep? <laughs> uh, so you're a bard. What is your spell? So on the on the spell page at the top, there should be three values. What you, what is your spell attack modifier? Plus four. Plus four. If you can't click that, just roll a d twenty and we'll add four to it. You might be able to click it. Should, um... Click on the, uh, yeah, the blue part. Okay, so you're able to make up for uh, Simon's uh, butterfingers. And you all take off. Seemingly unfollowed, or you seem to make your way out of the way you are, or uh, away from whoever is following you. Are we actually outside the city, or, or you are or not? I just put you. I just put you there. Okay. Yeah. You're, you know, you've scattered and gone down. You went down the south way, so you scattered and. Uh, uh, got down several streets. Let's go to um, Cool Sounding Street. Let's go to the, the street of the Manticore. The street of the what? Can you ping it? Street of the Manticore. There you are. <laughs> Safe House in the North Ward and the street of the Manticore. A big mantator. There used to be a uh, big mantators in this area, but it got closed down because of health violations, and they haven't. Um, it, it's in the process of being re, um, re, uh, um, re. Um, what's the word we're for? Re uh, renovated, and uh, it hasn't reopened yet. So we use that as the base of as the hideout. <laughs> This place could be awesome, but it when I was over. Yeah, this is where this is where my friends come when we smoke. <laughs> so yeah, we were Scab Sailor Alley. <laughs> yeah, what's well, the bad part of town? No wonder why. There's, a, there's some great that. names on this map. Um, I know I have a. There you go. Make your way to a back alley. Oh, sweet. Fresh worms. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Finally, some grub. <laughs> so you two make your way to a back alley uh, or to where this is, kind of like staying out of sight. Uh, you pull, your, pull, pull the horses into a uh, uh, an area and you sit down and wait. Ursul hasn't shown up yet. What do you guys do? Let me actually put on the creepy, creepy music instead. This baby crying in the background doesn't really work. Yeah, yeah this uh, oh, like a city. Sounds, like there's a lot. There's a lot of missing children. <laughs> it's like 
frightened children of them. <laughs> um, I just go, oh, oh my god, what do we just do? <laughs> I, I, I don't know, Rare King. We, we did a lot, but it seems like nobody was a good guy. How are you supposed to make a decision if no one's good? You know, uh, pretty sure we were just associated to kidnapping. Um, 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 um. But what if, what, what if that guy did hurt all those people with his wife? Then are we really just d detaining, is that the word, detaining a, a suspect? Yeah, but that guy was totally whipped. Like, <laughs> wasn't involved. He was pr practically innocent. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Uh, it, did did you uh, at least find the nimble right? On top of that, we did find the nimble right. I'm gonna say, Simon, can you, as you were leaving, you turned on the nimble right detector, and it was not worrying when you were just leaving the uh, area. But it was worrying when we first got there. Correct. So, so was that horse they were on? Like, was it faster? Like, what was the... Uh... Yeah, one is a draft horse, one is a riding horse. Okay. And Simon did see that the riding horse does have uh, magical hooves or magical enchanted hooves or something on their hooves that are magical. I haven't had much chance to check it, though. <laughs> I say to um, I say to the guys, it's like... Like, I, I kind of... Like, I didn't, I didn't mean to do a kidnapping. Um, I, I'm like, I'm just playing all this by ear, and that's not a pun because of mouse ears. Like, I don't know what I'm doing half the time when I'm when I'm Rat King. I just have a, I just, I just have like, a, I just have a deep voice. That I try to put on. That's that's all I kind of do. Sharpie's gonna go over to uh, Rat King and be like, "It's okay. Accidental kidnappings just happen." This isn't even my first time. Um. And like, kind of like pat him on the back. Oh, that's really reassuring, Sharp Tooth. Thank you. <laughs> I just, I just love how Simon is the straight man in everything. It's so good. That's how we can be as ridiculous as we are. There's yeah, so it's works so well. It's amazing. <laughs> But it's part of part of the part of the bigger picture. Um, if we can find exchange exchange him for information about the nimble right, then maybe it will all be worth it. But probably no way they're gonna give up. Oh God, I don't know what to do. There's something called the Stones of Galore. Simon, have you heard of them? Or do you know what they look like? Um, I, no, but it's, um, uh, uh, that man we rescued uh, talked about them. It um, apparently leads to a, 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 a massive, uh, a massive wealth. Anybody in Waterdeep would be familiar with the embezzled funds, not necessarily with the Stone of the Lord itself, which would be the way to find those embezzled funds. Basically, is that the previous Open Lord, uh, Never Ember, embezzled all half a million dragons, half a million gold pieces, uh, hid them somewhere in the city, wiped his memory, uh, and people have been trying to find it ever since he was ousted. The Open Lord being the open face of the government of the city. Uh, rather than the other lords who are not the open lords, who are, uh, their identities are apparently secret. I don't know the full lore behind it, but that's essentially what it is. Um, he, uh, apparently, the Son of Lore is apparently, according to the people that you have talked to and the people you found, the key to finding that, um, that cache of, cache of gold. But we don't know, like, its specific description, a physical description. Correct. Okay. So, so here's kind of where my mind is at. Like, this, um, the the mistress is gonna get a hold of the authorities, saying the owners of the troll skull 
tavern just kidnapped my husband and ran off with a associated criminal. Um, Do they know that we run the tavern? Well, I guess I don't know that. The only one that mentioned the tavern was Erstel himself um, during my bit yeah. of mix-up uh, stuff. But he also didn't say the the tavern. At least I, I, I don't think so. But we can say that he uh, didn't, the name of the tavern. He didn't say the name of the tavern. So uh, the most information that I'm going to say that they that anybody else probably heard was that you guys are from a tavern. And it may not take long for them to notice, uh, like a group of a bugbear, a goblin, a half elf, and a halfling. Um, it may not take long to put two and two together. It, it may not be safe for us until we uh, clear our names or get to the bottom of this cons conspiracy or Can like this. Uh... Can we just blackmail the family because they're up to no good? Blackmail works sometimes. Yeah, they had Everybody. they were they had all these. Go ahead, go ahead. Sorry, they had all these winged serpent things, like those other guys. Yeah, with they're the definitely family? associated with the Zentarum. With the family, because the god down at the bottom, we woke him up. I slapped him a couple of times to see what was going on. He said nothing. It was horrible. I searched his body after, and he had this uh, mark of the, the serpent thing. So was he with the family? Uh, I, think they, they, I think they all were, but I think the the uh, the family betrayed the people they hired. Uh, the, he he specifically said he was not working for who lived there, though. Well, hopefully, when he arrives, he'll give us some answers. That seems like maybe there's some fighting over this treasure. I know sometimes treasure can make people a little bit not themselves. And they hurt people. Or it makes would, it them bully themselves. I would say that, Wrecking, you've probably got enough in, uh, underground information that you would be familiar with the, the, the fact that um, probably a lot of folk, local factions or criminals or, or people with, with like power probably looking for this, especially side crime syndicates. And if there is a stone of galore, uh, or if the stone of galore is the key to opening the the um, uh, finding and opening the th the cache of dragons, would be sought after by a lot of people, a lot of bad people. Yeah. There has been a lot of fric uh, friction between factions up until this point, whether that was before or after the stone of galore was found, or at least in, you know, someone's possession. You don't know. Yes, yeah, so we don't know how it was how it was uh, discovered yet. Um, yeah. Does anybody else want to do yeah, anything so... while they are waiting? Um, other than just um, chat. Just want to make sure we get any of that out of the way. Uh, yes, I intend to worry. <laughs> That's a free action. Free action. Free action. <laughs> Uh, uh, is the nimble thing whirring at all? It is not. Simon turns it on. It does not whir. Cool. Yeah, Bruchix, um, just hoping for the best. What if that guy double crosses us and he doesn't show up back here and he takes that man away? What do we do? I mean, we did give him our only leverage. <laughs> While you are waiting, you get the benefits of a short rest. So feel free to do short rest. I don't know if anybody actually lost any health, um, but you definitely use some spells and you probably get some resources back. Is there anything else you'd like to do over the course of the hour that that short rest takes? Um... Hmm. 
No, I don't think so on my end. Yeah, I'm good. Okay, good here. I'm definitely keeping a, I'm definitely keeping a, like a lookout on the streets. Okay. Um, like, like, it, just out of curiosity, I'm going to use uh, identify as a ritual on the horse. Do that. The horse is a horse. You identify it as the name of Maladar. If However, it, the uh, the shoes the are horseshoes of speed. Okay. So if like we were a centaur or a, or a, a satyr, would we be able to use these to run really fast? I think so. I want to say that that has come up in something I've read before. I can't remember. And satyrs probably have goat feet, though. I don't know if that's <laughs> right. Satyrs have goat feet, which I think are slightly different. Because I know there's different types of hooves for certain like types of animals or groups of animals. Yeah. Um, oh, if you were a bat. I think the horses are the one. one. And then the satyrs are cloven, so they're two. Right. Yeah, they're right. Really right. What about mentor, though? The minotaur. Uh, bulls, maybe. Yeah, I, uh, we would have to look that up. <laughs> uh, anyway, the, these iron horseshoes come in a set of four. While all four shoes are fixed to the hooves of a horse or similar creature, they increase the creature's walking speed by 30 feet. So, I'm sorry, Simon, were you saying something? Uh, no, I was just going to say that um, they, pretty much, they uh, would still just mostly require something with four legs. Probably like tape them on or something. Scarpy's feet are pretty sticky; they could just stick on. Um, um, bull and cow feet are, are cloven too. Cloven means there's like two things, like, like two little yeah. toes or whatever. They're there's, there's, there's a term for it. I, I forget the term. Ungulate. That's probably it. Uh, <laughs> some more time goes by. While we're waiting, we all talk about ways we can use, like, about different types of hooves to try to distract ourselves. We're not even really saying anything. We're just trying to, like, vent out the nervous tension of what just happened. Yeah. More time passes. More time passes. The sun begins to set. Maybe he's waiting till after dark to meet up with us, so it's safe. Maybe he meant, maybe he thinks the other McMahon, a McMantic horse on the other side of town. He got confused. After a while, you start to get the the, uh, the feeling that he's not sh going to show up. Whether he ran off, or was captured, or was killed, you have no idea. Does anyone remember what he was from? Oh, like an area or some people that knew him or something? So maybe we could go track him down? Well, those, uh, you said those Zentherum guards were, um, he said that they were there to rescue him. Mm-hmm. But. And, and they had a teleport? That, I... They had a teleport rune in that room? But they did. I did go look this. I did go look this up. By the way, the teleport circle uh, as is where you can land, not teleport to, but it did appear to be a permanent teleport circle in that room. Okay. Uh, so, uh, well, if, if you've got the spell, you can still use it to teleport somewhere else. It's just um, a marker oh, for getting there. Correct. You don't have to draw it out as part of the uh, thing. You you automatically already have it there. But it is also, like, the, the teleportation circle also has to be a draw point or something like that. Uh, Simon will uh, mention this in uh, the most convoluted way possible. Yeah. Um, actually, this is how it works. He put he pushes his glasses up his nose. <laughs> Brutrick now knows less about that teleportation portal because he, he, he got lost. <laughs> Do you think we should um, let these just horses go and head back to the tavern? I I suppose um, this is a safe area to do so, right? Um, horse glue manor or a street? Yeah, it <laughs> seems <laughs> it seems pretty safe. You have a feeling that um, like. 
just like resources <laughs> wouldn't be like rare. Like I could imagine like people's horses getting away from them when they're you know when they're not being careful. Yeah. It's like leaving the parking brake off and they just run off. Um, they know however, this home. the one of the riding horses is pretty nicely dressed. You'd probably want to just sort of take all of the the nice regalia off and just hide it somewhere or destroy it. Oh, you mean the regalia, not the horse? <laughs> not the, I mean, you can do the horse if you want. Yeah, but. <laughs> Uh, do we have stables at our inn? No, you do, you do not. Oh, okay. Never mind. Yeah. yeah, I think we should take the fancy uh, stuff off the horse, just let him go, and um, head back to the tavern. All right. If, uh... Okay. Uh, I mean, other than... Take, or we go the... the... Yeah. Or we go, go ahead, back sorry. to the manor. Like, or we go back to the manor and like try to get the information out of uh, the mistress, but I bet they're going to have even more guards there now, protecting the place. Or they'll be out looking for her husband. <gasps> or have called the city watch. Do crime syndicates call the city watch? Oh, sometimes yes. So, tossing it in the air if like if blackmailing them, them not using the city watch, or if they did and this was part of the city watch, at least like a couple of them are on their side. Maybe. Kid, I am the police. So I'm kind of up for going right back to the mansion, because I don't think they'll expect it. Uh, maybe is this, uh, uh, maybe a is block this a like, brute trick just... or sharp tooth? No, sorry. This is brute trick. <laughs> uh, maybe um, a short distance away from it or something, just to see, like, how are they reacting? Uh, like, did they call the watch, or... Are they uh, they trying to hide it all? Did they capture the Erstal? See if he got stuck with them. Maybe that's why he's not showing up. I am curious whether he double-crossed us or he uh, got captured. So he goes, oh, like darn to... it all. <laughs> so you'd like to sort of scout out from a safe distance the uh, the the villa, the man manor you are at. Please. Yes, please. Okay. It's actually not far from uh, our um, tavern. Correct. So you go back up distance uh, to do a some recon. Um, Mousy or somebody else. Mousy would probably be the the best one to do this, but um, if you could. Roll me a uh, investigation check with advantage, and we'll use this as your as your sort of scouting ability. Yeah, uh, fifteen. Fifteen. That's good. It looks like at this point there is a there is a um, police presence, city watch presence at the villa. With a 15, I'll say that you can hear enough information that it sounds like most of it's coming off that there were they were attacked. Home was invaded by a group of people. Um, they were... Uh, uh, the guards put down most of the, most of the thing, most of the people, and... Um, yeah, something real quick. And uh, several people, you, you find that several people got away. And then you make your money back to the group. Do I over here, like, who the suspects were? You do not. Uh, it's either too early in the investigation or you you can't get close enough that you can't hear gossip around from other people, so. They said that I'm doing this on my own. I'm wondering if I should approach them as mousy. 
the reporter. You can try that if you want. See if I, yeah, so I, I want to um, do my cast off armor real quickly so I can go back into Mousy and in my, my uh, um, reporter mode, start asking questions to the uh, okay. watch. You don't have to RP it. You can just, uh, I'll do a little bit. I got an idea. So, 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 uh, move along, everybody. Nothing to see here. You know, standard cliche crime scene yeah. guard dialogue. It's like, well, well, officer, I think there's a lot to see here. It's quite a commotion. Not, nothing to see. Well, you will. Well, you will read about it in the papers tomorrow. Right now, that's this is a well, that's uh, well, that's where I come in because I write the paper. You might have heard of Knee Deep and Water Deep, my uh, broadsheet, and I think. This will be front page news for tomorrow's broadsheet, and you can have the uh, the the star quote of the article. First line of the article could be your name, big bold letters. Make a persuasion check. Especially so the first page is the only page. <laughs> Ten. The broadsheet. Your your uh, additional embellishment. Of of schmoozing. Instead of giving you advantage, I lowered the DC to ten. So you passed. <laughs> he goes, "Oh, you mean I could be a star for for a uh, day at least?" Star, I've been yes. discovered. He's kind of like looking starstruck into the sky. Uh, oh, all right. Well, all, what do you what do you dreams, need? What do you need to know? Here, about to come true. here, get my good side. <laughs> Here, oh, oh I'm, not a I'm not a photographer. Uh, I, okay, and I, and I, I know. I, I just get down, my good side of talking. <laughs> I, I write down has a really nice right side of face. <laughs> says, "Hi, right, what do you need to know?" Um, and I ask him. It's like, well, what happened here? Like, um, who's the family? They describe sort of the um, information that you have. This is the he describes this as the Grelhund Manor. That apparently there was some some very thugs that had broken in and uh, tried to do something to the family. Um, most likely tried to uh, uh, take something for ransom or uh, what's the word um, extortion? No, not extortion, yeah. but kind of, kind of like like sort of ransom where you're not kidnapping somebody. Um, and then it turns out somebody, the the father, um, or not the father, but the, the, the patriarch of the family is missing. Uh, the wife and the kids are all fine. Turns out he possibly was, uh, had uh, run off with them or was possibly kidnapped. We don't really know yet. Well, he says, um, you know, interesting. Uh, what about the rumors? Oh, uh, which, which rumors are that? You know the the scandalous rumors. Oh. Well, uh, make another persuasion check. Between, oh, surely you've heard of a uh, the secret love affair of um lady uh, Grauhund. lady Galhoon and the the handsome half orc. Make make another persuasion check with guard. with advantage with advantage. Or would that be persuasion or deception? Uh, per persuasion. Um, because your your you were your initial thing was asking about the rumors that you've heard. I know, I know, I know. Um, planting yeah. rumors is not really you're you're not really trying to plant a rumor as much as you're trying to get information out of them. So I'm going to say persuasion with this one. Thirteen. Okay. Um, he kind of uh oh I haven't heard about that one, but you know what I did hear. I did hear that there's only two of the children in this thing, and the third one was sent away. It has something to do with some past family ties to uh, the gossipous fiends or or uh, devils or something like that. Don't really know. Don't quote me on that. Keep this one as an anonymous. So I, I kind of in character and out of character. I go, excuse me, um, one of the children is um was sent away because of devils oh that's that's the rumor that says they were it's living with some other family members or special tutors or something like that 
but uh, I've, I've heard it was something to have to do with the Nine Hells. Oh, well, aren't they always? Oh. <laughs> it, anything about one of the children being extremely skinny and uh, ro ro uh, scarecrow-like? <laughs> oh, no, 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 not at all, no. It's... At least not the two that's still around. Um, he sees, so um, I, 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 I just have the word devils. Question mark, <laughs> exclamation point, question mark. I go, okay, uh, well, that, that's enough. Um, oh, oh, can I have your name so I can put it in the, in the article? Oh, yes, I am uh, Sergeant O'Malley. O'Malley, that's... I don't, it's, because it's I don't so have funny. a name thing out and could not think <laughs> fast enough. His name is now Sergeant O'Malley. Um... Probably wouldn't be a sergeant, but he'd be... Oh, he just... Uh, 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 O'Malley. Officer O'Malley. I go, okay, oh, Officer O'Malley, I'll uh, check um, check the uh, broadsheets well, um, in the morning. Well, make sure you get it right. O is my first name. Malley is my last name. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, that's my name. O O'Malley. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's O... Um, Apostrophe O'Malley. O'Malley. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I um. That you make your way back. Change back into my Red King thing. Uh, did you send us back to the uh, to the inn or in a? Uh, well, we didn't really decide that. Um. Pretty close by, I, w I would say, yeah. Well, I mean, it's up to you if you would have went back, I guess. Yeah, as soon as seeing I... the police probably scare, scare off Brutrick. Actually, I'm yeah. going to come back as as Mousy um, and tell them how I, and uh, relay the information to them that I got from uh, an interview. Okay. Going back, um, it has been a day or so since the explosion. People are cleaning things up. But there are still a couple guards around trying to keep keep things safe, keep things keep the peace, make sure that people aren't uh no other no other things are going on. Calvary Griffin riders there. Mousy, you're still at this point away, but Shark Tooth, Brutrick, Simon, uh, you make your way back. Um, do you want to try and just walk by the guards, or do you want to try and get in a, uh, like a side door or something without being seen? Shark Tooth, you want to do the side door? Uh, Brutrick okay. will follow Shark Tooth's lead. Everybody, Everybody can make, can make a, a stealth check. <laughs> um, Rutrick just climbs up unnoticed, and uh, Simon and Sharptooth, uh, you start, um, like Simon, you accidentally step on Sharptooth's foot, and then Sharptooth's like, Ah, why'd you do that? Ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. And then I fall on top of him. <laughs> on the ground screaming at each other. Rutrick feels bad because he knew he should have just carried them. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say the guard does not... Uh, he kind of looks at, looks over at you. Doesn't uh, doesn't really do anything. It's like, yeah, tourists. We're too <laughs> pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> you too. Eventually... Whoop. Eventually make your way in the thing. Mousy, as you're coming back over here. Peeking out of the door. Hey, hey, Mousy. I know, Trench uh, comes out of the tiger's eye. Oh, uh, Mr. Trench. Uh, yeah, okay, how may I help get you? In, get in here, quick. Oh, oh okay, okay. Get in. Uh, 
What did you guys do? Uh, I, I was just uh, interviewing. You're Rat King. I yes. know it. Drop the act. What did you guys just do? Because there is stuff going on, and you guys could be in a lot of trouble. There you go. Oh, God. Oh, God. Um, Look, it's, it, I'm not going to tell anybody. It's just my job to know things, okay? Secret safe with me. I'm just trying to make sure that you're okay, because I know you, you guys would not have anything to do with whatever the crap is going on. Okay, so we had nothing to do with the bombing, if that's what you're worried about. Uh, we had No, no, no. The, the bombing and then the other... I know you have nothing to do with the bombing. You guys were inside. The whole thing at the manor. So, so we went to investigate who's responsible for the bombing. We found it might have been a um, a construct known as a nimble right. And we tracked it down to uh, oh, to a uh, Dahoon manor. And um, we... We... Um, infiltrated it and things kind of got really confusing and out of hand and uh, we were kind of stuck in a room with this one guy who and like I explained to him like the about the man and the stone and how he kind of kind of took a hostage and made a break for it and yeah, how he never he kind of responds like, like never, that's the that's what I'm starting to hear I think he managed to dupe you and get away with uh well, something to negotiate for whatever that key to the to the dragons is. Yeah, we realized pretty quickly that um, he had no reason to to follow up on, on what we were do on our meeting spot. I give you what I information. This is a freebie because honestly, you got a nice bar, and I don't want you guys to lose it. But that guy. Burned one. Probably a Zent. Grelhuns, probably working with the Zent. Fireball, probably broke that working co uh, uh, connection. Yeah, we, uh, we I got the impression that they, were, that they were possibly part of the same organization, but there was a fracture, considering that they were trying to kill each other. Yeah, that's sort of what it seems like. So, um... So, what gave it away that I was the, the right king? Well, first off, you kind of look at like him a lot, and second off, I have my ways of learning things. Your disguise is not obvious, if that's what you're worried about. I'm just really good at my job, and honestly, I kind of know when somebody's hiding something. Um, here, as a, sign of, as a sign of trust. And you look at him for brief moments. He starts to change. Ooh. As he's changing, I, I say like, um, so yeah, like I'm, I'm honestly surprised that like the others haven't figured out. Holy poop! <laughs> he I... turns into a humanoid-looking tiger. Oh, tiger's eye! I get it. Yeah, it's a, it's a stealth pun. Yeah. Well, and he says, uh... um, look, so. Now, you've got leverage over my secret, I've got leverage over your secret. Granted, I don't think any of us are doing anything that would be a problem, but... Trust. It's what you need. Trust. Oh, I trust. even have a kitty icon. <laughs> yeah, these, these icons, for anybody at home that might be watching, these icons I found on, I think, Etsy. I don't know who the original author is, because I got them a, like, a couple of years ago. Um, uh, but they're little chibi icons for all the things, and they did include a trench and a trench rakasha. Uh, rakasha rakasha um, icon. They're very good. Oh, uh, he's not a, uh, were, a uh, were tiger. He is as Bun jokingly made a point out in the episode that you met him. He is a rakasha. I believe is how you pronounce it. I've never heard that in D&D. &D. Yes, this is a I will describe them, I'll describe what they are real quick. Uh, they're basically tiger kin. Um, they are adept at magic, like really adept at magic. Um, or they're they're either tiger or lion kin. Probably probably cross between the two. Um, and they are able to do a. Uh, for, I forget if he they've got an ability to change into this or he's got like disguise self. I think he has disguise self. Um, but yeah, he is actually a. Rock, rock, 
Rakshasa. Is that is Rakshasa. Yeah, they've been a thing for a long time. Now, I think they originally came out in Oriental Adventures. That sounds about sounds about right. Based on yeah, judging story. from this, judging from this uh, very stereotypical art I'm seeing, <laughs> but they were at least on the front cover of the book for it. Yeah, I'm surprised they're they they not. They are not fun to fight. <laughs> he changes. He changes back. It says, "No, oh, well, let me give you the little rest of the thing." It sounds like what's going on in there. They're not letting people. They're keeping it down low. The Grelhans are keeping it down low. Apparently, my guess they either don't. They either are trying to protect whatever that stone is, or or on Grelhund, the one who was kidnapped. No idea which is more important to them. When I th end, well, so I think you guys uh... have. I think you guys have some time before word gets out that a bunch of people, including the Rat King, were involved, as I think they are trying to keep it as much a secret as possible. Yeah, this is kind of like, um, kind of along the lines of what I was kind of thinking, like, one of the scenarios. Oh, oh their I... feet. What's that? Sorry, I was looking up for... <laughs> what a rush <laughs> <laughs> um, but he, he continues to turn to you and says, um, so uh, my suggestion is to probably figure out what this was all about as soon as you can, as you probably don't have much time, probably days, maybe a week, before the authorities uh, at least make you a suspect. Unless something, of course, happens between the, the Zentarum and whatever else was going on the Grelhoons. Um, I say to him, uh, you, um, obviously have your ear to the ground. Um, and I ask him about the, um, one of the child, one of their children and just repeat to me what he said. It was, um, something, the rumor yeah, is was... that the, they have, so they have three children. Two of them are still there. One of them was sent away for some reason with family visiting things, tutoring. You're not sure. Um, and the rumor is that one of them had something to do with uh, fiends or devils or some sort of uh, possibly like like how tieflings have like a, a cursed lineage, something related to like the family lines along that kind of thing. Okay, so it is the family that has something to do with devils, not not the kid necessarily. Based on the information that you got, uh, it seemed more focused around the kid. Uh, based on what okay, it sounds so like. It could be fiends or like an infernal sort of pact or an infernal sort of curse, something yeah. along those lines. I asked him, was like, what do you know about one of their kids and any relationship to like devils? They're a tough one to kind of come around, but um, really, I don't have that information right now. But if you do want me to find out some stuff, I'm going right 50 gold and I can get you that information. I think that might be. Might be helpful. Yeah. You want to hand him fifty gold? gold. Well, let's see what I have on me, but I think we have a lot. We have like a thousand in our uh, in our thing. You did make your money back, say, so you can you can you can hand him the money at another time. You don't have to give it right now. Right. Now. How would I say forty five gold and uh, you drink for free for a for a month? And it calculates. Like, like, like it's probably even, more. <laughs> even the good stuff. Yeah, yeah, I mean, occasionally. And you, and and you don't and like we're talking buffet drinks too. Like as much as I can drink. <laughs> uh, I'm doing the math and saying, yeah, that was probably a stupid deal, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, okay, fifty <laughs> gold. <laughs> ah, and um, chuck that when I had a chance. <laughs> <laughs> fifty gold and. uh a round of uh, leaf special on us. That's why I say thanks. Works for me. I'll get it. Works for me. So uh, when you get back to your tavern or from, from wherever you can do, uh, get rid of 50 gold pieces. And you want to find information about the, uh, the child. 
baby. Yeah, because right, yeah, right now we have no lead. We have no leads. Yes. And I say like anything that can help us um, before well, we become have it, affiliated. Do you have any any idea where the stone is? He's asking me. Yeah, oh, he's, he's not asking on. you like where it is, but he's asking like, oh, if you're looking for leads, do you have any idea where the stone is? Um, Just to remind you, as we, a player. Um, you you were told that uh, they it was given to the nimble right. Yeah, yeah. So I say um, it was. We think the nimble right ran away with it while we were in the manor. Um, there's no telling where it is now, but we do do have this, and I I don't know if I have it, but yeah, um, so, we, we do have it, a, so we do have this. Oh, well, do, I don't have it. Simon has it. <laughs> yeah, we we have a, a nimble right detector, but. We have to be pretty close for, for it to detect them. Oh. There's your there's your next go. Next step. Yeah. Oh, another wild nimble nimble chase. It sounds like nimble it's the same chase. one. Yep. I go, okay. So um you know, I get the fifty gold from our uh, from our bank. Or safe. Give it okay. to him. There you All go. Right. Tiger's eye. How about that? Okay. No secrets. secrets. Keep up the good work. Yeah, you've, been, you've been doing. You've been doing very well as Mousy as as Rat King. You know, it gets you down you all know, the time, but you're making a difference. Small difference, but a difference nonetheless. Yeah, and I guess we did. I did. We did kidnap some bad people, so it's not like. Well, you got a couple days. To, you got a couple yeah, days to play yeah. game of that. Oh God! Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I kind of like this. It's like if we don't hurry up, we're gonna. <laughs> we're Honestly, it's to very nice to. It's very nice to have a ticking clock right now. It's like the yeah. last couple games I've done this for didn't really have the ticking clock. This is great. <laughs> so yeah, I tell everyone. Well, I have good news and bad news. And I kind of relay the information. The bad news is, you know, if we don't get this sorted out within the next few days, we're probably um, all going to jail. <laughs> I wonder if I'll get my favorite cell. <laughs> and, and, like, we do this in a quiet corner of the tavern. <laughs> so I'm just pacing back and forth. Just pacing? Yeah. Like, like... He cannot sit that, sit straight. Uh, uh, sit still. It's like, oh god, Rat King's dead. Rat King's dead. Rat... Yeah, you all get in. You, you all find out when you get in that Mousy is not here. Where is that Mousy from? Yeah, Mousy is the one that comes in. So before you come in, let's let's have um, actually give me give me a two minute break to to go to the bathroom and then we'll jump back. Okay. Yeah. Go back. All right. A quick, quick, small break. Be right back, everybody. I like the direction. Simon, Simon keep pacing. <laughs> yeah. The unseen servant is like massaging his shoulders to help him de-stress. He's got big muscles too. You just can't see him. It's like a big, like husbando hunk. But oh, the can, still only, can still only carry ten feet, uh, ten pounds, though. Yeah, they're they're just for show. I'll be right back. I mean, I can tell the difference between your voices. It's like, I know that some people say one's higher and one's lower. It's, a, it's like a single octave or something like that. A single semitone. But one time Steph was talking while somebody was trying to tune their fiddle. Apparently I talk at a A. <laughs> You're talking what? 
like the note of A. Like oh. Yeah, I, I can't tell pitches um, from from that. It's I, I can recognize a note if it's off key or something like that. But uh, yeah, you're you're like uh, one note higher. Or maybe two. Who knows? Well, one of you uh, speaks a very harsh um, New York accent. Well, the other one is um, a little more uh, like feathery or whatever. One of you only tells the truth, and the other always lies. One of them sounds like Ertrick. The other one sounds like um, Sharptooth. That's what I said. It's like, yeah, they always ask me what my sister thinks. I hate it. They never ask about me. (laughs) Well, here's the thing. Can Sam do a good Ertrick, and then can Steph do a good Sharptooth? Oh, I don't know. But I think that we're doing a great job. Uh, yeah, great, 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 great. Anyway, it's gonna go to my heat. Really good. <laughs> of course, I'm very similar. Now it's a Uh, Are we all back? I am. Okay. I'm back. So I am. All right. So to continue, as you come back, uh, Simon is probably hyperventilating. Leaf passes you some more apple juice, this time with a hint of vodka in it. And you are so nervous that you you cannot taste it initially. And it does, I'm going to say, probably does calm you down a little bit. I'd say that some... I'd say yeah, you 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 keep it down. It's not it's not enough for you to you'd need like a uh with a thirteen, you I'd, I'd say you'd need at least a ten to keep it down. And you you do, because just enough in there. It's like it's like crying baby because her teeth hurts. Grandma puts a little bit of whiskey on her thumb and rubs it in the rubs in the, the baby's tooth. It makes it feel better. However, you still have a few minutes before Bousy actually shows up, so do we get some uh, tavern, taverning music? Uh, if you prefer the taverning music, I would still put the Nor procedural on. But let's go back to the tavern. Um, oh. It's probably not a few minutes. It's probably you probably have a certain you probably have a good amount of time because Mousy's doing all the reconnaissance. You you all decided to head right back to uh, the thing, so you probably have a good amount of time before Mousy shows up. If there's anything you want to do specifically. Um. I guess Butrick is also like I don't know guys, do you think I did the right thing? I was I was trying to help and then all of a sudden we went and then we kidnapped somebody. I was carrying him. And he just never showed up. Oh, I hope he's okay. I I, I don't want to go to prison. I don't want to go to prison. I... <laughs> Zort comes down and it's like, "You guys kidnapped some I don't remember the voice I did for Zort, so this is his new voice." <laughs> Sort it's like meeting a new friend every day. Yeah, I'm working on a couple different dialects. It's it's really been helping my uh, voice acting career. Uh, I think I think we might have helped somebody get kidnapped. Um, I mean probably, but they weren't like good people, which I think could make it even worse. Oh, so, here's the the yeah, law. Thank you. <laughs> So you probably are looking back over the code legal handout that I, I just re-showed everybody. You should be able to see it. But noting this, I'm assuming Simon is like just going right over it for every infraction that he did. Um, crimes against lords, nobles, and officials. Um, like, yep, 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 yep. <laughs> murder of a lord, official, or noble. Death. Um, with that, uh, is there anything else you'd like to discuss before Mousy shows up? Blackmailing an official, we're, we're talking about that. <laughs> um, I, Simon, you there? Log. I'm here, just uh, pacing back okay, and okay. forth, uh, mumbling to himself, and uh, not really part of the conversation. 
Okay. We're all in our own states of disassociation. I mean, we might just be put in jail for a week, according to this. I, or, or possibly a, uh, a fine of uh, 500, 500 gold pieces, assuming that he, he gets back within a day. Bessie shows up, coming to the, I assume, front door. Yeah, I just walk in. Nor! And I, and I, and I relay the news to him. Mousy, where were you? To go, I was, uh, I was getting information for you guys. Um, so I think, like I said, I have good news and bad news. And I, I can't tell him what I learned. Right. He, he uh, relays everything they've learned, I'm assuming minus the secret identity of Trench. Oh, yeah, yeah. I go, good news, bad news, but mostly bad news. Oh, oh no. Uh, we've been going over legal here, and it seems like, yeah, that is a lot of bad news. Yeah, but I think we can, uh, can clear ourselves if we um, can out... The uh, Dalhuns as um, Centurum, and maybe possible devil involvements with devils or something. And uh, but I think we need to find the stone, and uh, that will um, be step one of clearing our names. Even though we're kind of guilty of it, even though you guys are kind of guilty of it. Yeah, uh, I guess that's good, but bad, but uh, where are we going to find that yes. stone? It's, it's on the nimble uh, right. we got to find the nimble right. We can't yeah. sleep until we find that nimble right. Um, and I, uh... <laughs> I, what was that? Sharptooth is, like, as Virtuka is saying, we cannot sleep until we find the nimble right. Sharptooth is, like, sleeping on the table. <laughs> With the with the cat kind of, that's just. Like and I, and I say, I say, um, since we're in <laughs> this situ situation together, um, and our lives could potentially be on the line, on the at stake, um, I think I should share this information with you, and um. I do a flourish with my cast off armor and I turn into the Rat King in front of them. Rat King, that was you the whole time in your mousy disguise? <laughs> yes, yes. Rutrick. <laughs> um, my seek my uh I have a mousy disguise. When I saw you do it earlier, it wasn't as good as you just did. Oh, <laughs> that's a big surprise, that's... though. Yeah. So wait, if you're a Rat King in a Mousy disguise, where's Mousy? Hey, go give, give it a minute, big guy. <laughs> you might. Bertrick, roll an intelligence uh... save. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, uh, I turn to Simon. And I go, um... Slowly starts I... to come, it slowly starts to come to you <laughs> like, wait a second. If Rat King's here and Mousy was here, but Mousy's not here and Rat King was here, then who am I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's no I the Rat King? I... <laughs> and who did I let my toothbrush to? <laughs> then you suddenly get an idea of how you can figure this out. You take the sending stone out of your pocket and looking right at Rat King. You go, you, you dial on it and say, Mousy, are you there? And I go, eh, okay. And I go, oh, what's that in my pocket? And I pull out the stone. I go, oh, it's Brutric on the stone. Full circle with that sending stone. That <laughs> definitely real sending stone. Um, and I turn to Simon to see if he even noticed or if he's still like, crying in the corner. Uh, <laughs> he, 
he's just muttering. I, I, maybe if I start now, I, I might be able to make it to candle keep in a, in a, a week or two. <laughs> yeah, we're in this together. I go, Simon. We're in this together. Either huh? we what? win to, win together or we fail together. R right, right, fail together. Well, preferably win. By the way, I need to borrow 50 gold pieces. <laughs> Jerkins is going to wake up be like, why are you two yelling across the bar at each other? God, what? Hey, Racking, how's it going? You go, oh, you're no, asleep. No, 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 okay. no, no. No, I know this. I can do this now. I can do this now. Sharp tooth? Yeah. Look right, look right there. Look at Rat King. Looking. Okay, watch this. Use the sending stone again, identically to the way that Mark <laughs> described it. I say, it's a rock, Brutrick. Sorry. Everybody's getting inspiration <laughs> for this whole thing. Uh, but but yeah, but that's Mousy. That is Mousy, and that is Rat King. It's not. Mousy in a Rat King disguise. It's not Rat King in a Mousy disguise. Mousy is Rat King. But Rat King's so cool and dynamic. And Mousy is, uh... No offense, apparent Mousy that's right here. You're boring and static. Yeah. I, um... Like, I removed the, the cow to reveal, like, what was plainly in, like, Mousy's face. Yeah. Ta-da! Chirptooth's gonna go up to Mousy Rat King. You're like, if you wanna be a real star, you gotta be the same on stage as you are off stage. Those are what the true legends are like. I, I go, but I need to protect my identity, so... My enemies don't hurt the ones I love. That would have Which been is... a good idea before I wrote my revenge album to one of my previous singers. You know, I kind of kind of had it in my head that I was going to be this, like, big hero and, like, like in the, like in the, like in the books, like I would have a, I would have like a, someone I care about that I had to protect so I had to live a life alone and um, maybe, live in the shadows that, and maybe that person that you care about the most is yourself <laughs> yeah think about it mousy rat king rat mouse <laughs> <laughs> think of all the things that you can do as both people because most people are going to be trying to arrest rat king Mousy can go freely and investigate where we would all get arrested. I'm in over here, said so slightly. Huh? You overheard Brutrick saying, like, Mousy will be fine while well, the rest of us will be arrested. And that's a good thing. And Simon over here said a little bit. Uh, no, he, um, he was snapped out of it enough to notice. Uh, oh. Yeah. He, he just, he's so in a panic right now, he just doesn't care. Uh, uh, he'll that, process yeah, that's what, well, that's a, what I'm saying is that that line uh, would probably have freaked Simon out a little bit. Yeah. Because, yeah, that's that's all I meant, to, meant by that. I'm um, trying to play his character for him, Mark. I'm sorry. No, he, um, uh, he, he he's still panicking, but he, he realizes something uh, and, and pulls a book out of, uh, out of his, uh, uh, his side bag and, uh, I just sits at the table immediately, starting to read through it. Okay. Clementine has come up and joined Mousy, the Mouse King. Yeah. Oh, there yeah, she um, is. Yeah. Um, it's just whenever I had the, the costume on, I felt um, I felt I could make a difference, and when I'm just Mousy, I never really felt that before. But think of all the places we'll go because you're so inconspicuous and non-threatening. So do you think I should hang up the cowl and help you as 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 
Just mousy brown? Well, I think you should do what you need to do. But I think having two different identities does give you safety. And it gives you access to other places that maybe you didn't have before. Unless you want to make sure the Rat King doesn't get arrested so you just don't wear it again. Then I understand why you wouldn't want to wear it again. They go, well, once we're, once we're out of this mess, I have some thinking to do. But for now, the Rat King's full arsenal is at your disposal. And I, and I put the cowl back on, and I'll use my deep, threatening voice. <laughs> Don't forget that swarm of rats you can use. Oh yeah, that's just a part of me. I can just do that. <laughs> Wait, what was the thing you kept saying about don't bring up the rats? What happened with that? Oh. <laughs> oh. But I wouldn't have brought it up because I didn't know it existed, but you kept pointing it out and then saying, don't tell anyone I just told you this. You know what? That's a story for another day. <laughs> <laughs> I need 50 gold for, uh, from our deposit... Uh, that's okay, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to take this gold and uh, hire some um, and I'm, hire I'm someone to, to spy for us. I assume, Simon, you meant that you needed that for yourself, the additional thing. Yes. Yeah. Simon, are you, are you emotionally making purchases? <laughs> are, are you stress buying? Uh, what? Uh, what do you mean? Well, it's just you seem really stressed, and then you wanted to buy something. So, so like, uh, what? Uh, just, uh, just, yeah, uh, just precaution. Uh, not, not, not much. Anything I can help you with, Simon? Uh, uh, no, it, it's just um, I, uh, I, I suddenly remembered uh, that uh, that spell book we found. Um, uh, some uh, useful spell in there that I just, I never thought that we'd really need, but now it could be quite useful um uh it's called a d disguise self that sounds perfect simon amazing and you can probably buy that at the um bookworm i uh, know just um he can convert it uh from that spell book into his with 50 gold pieces yeah, you awesome. never you never sold the spellbook you had, so this is the one of the ones that you found. I think this is the one from Gromshar. Yeah, yeah Gromshar. One. Uh, one of yeah. the spells is Disguise Self. Okay. Nice. Nice. You, you mean like this? And uh, Sharptooth pulls out a disguise kit from his inventory? <laughs> I don't know why I've had this. I've just always had it. I kept it for a special occasion. Do you, do you, is that how you get ready for your stage performances? I don't remember. So do you think we should open up the tavern like normal tonight? You, um, I would say that you could all possibly, um, you're still, like, under the guise of, or under the, the, the couple days since the explosion? You could open up the tavern normal, but you don't think you're going to get a lot of extra customers today. Um, and it might it might just be you know say you know take a take a take a week's loss. You're not paying um, staff at the moment because nobody's here. Um, yeah, you can try if you let's, want. Let's um, no, let's uh, considering the situation outside, I don't think many people are venturing out on the streets. Uh, yeah, so let's uh let's clear up the situation, and then life will return to normal. Yeah. Okay. As you With just that... say something about devils. And yeah, that's what I hired Trench down the street to find out. Find that's out. That's so freaking random. Yeah. Cut me off guard too. With that, you all manage to de-stress after things, and you spend the rest of the night doing whatever you need to do. You all get a full night's rest, long rest. 
Simon, you'll be able to easily copy the uh, spell down and the extra time that you have in addition to the rest. Um, and everybody levels up to level four. I probably have to cast sleep on myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get it back in the morning. 